Sena, the voice behind Dr. T. Before we proceed to the video, how about hitting the bell icon to get notified every single time we upload a new video. And hey, you can also check out our playlist on our channel for more awesome videos. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Got it. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Dr. Teeth. Today we are going to learn about the Adams class. This class was introduced by C.P. Adams. That is why it is called as the Adams class. Other names are modified arrowhead clasp, Liverpool clasp or universal clasp. The advantages of Adams clasp is that it can be made both on the deciduous and the permanent teeth. Also, it can be made for any tooth in the arch, be it incisors, canines, premolars or the molars. It can be made even in partially erupted teeth because all we need is the buccal proximal undercut. This clasp is small and requires a little space in the buccal sulcus and also we can modify it based on our requirements. So these were some of the advantages of the Adams. Now that we know what is an Adams class, what are the advantages of Adams class, let us proceed to the making of Adams class. So before we make something, we have to know its parts, right? So what are the parts of Adams class? We have an arrowhead, we have two arrowheads, so we have a bridge and we have retentive arms, right? So arrowhead, they are on the buccal surface and in the proximal undercut. So when you see them, you will find them that they are in the buccal proximal undercuts. So as you can see here, this right here, it is the arrowhead and this is the bridge here and this is the retentive arm. We call it the retentive arm because it helps in the retention of this clasp because it goes to the acrylic. Okay. Now these arrowheads, they will go in the bucco proximal undercut. So you can see they are going in the proximal undercut. And this bridge right here, it should be at an angle of 45 degrees to the tooth surface. And when you look it from the sides, it should be at the middle third of the tooth. Okay. Now these are the retentive arms. And at the ends of the arm, you can see we have tags. So these are called the retentive tags. So they help in securing of the Adams class to the acrylic. So these are the parts of the Adams class. Now let's get to make it. Okay. Okay. So here you can see I have already done a marking here, but I will be marking it again just to show you all to back up plan if I mess it up. Okay, so let us suppose this is the tooth on which we have to make the Adams class. So we will make two vertical lines. One will be at the mesial surface of this tooth and one vertical line will be at the distal surface of this tooth. Then we will mark this horizontal line which will correspond to the gingival margin of this tooth. Okay, so we have these vertical lines and a horizontal line. Now what we will do, we will make two more lines that will bisect these. So we will make two more lines that will bisect these. So as you can see, this will go at a point on the teeth, right? So this point right here, where this line will meet eventually, this is the point where we will have our arrowheads. So the arrowhead will engage at this point and roughly it is around two third of the entire mesodistal width of the teeth. Okay. So here we can see it clearly that the line which is bisecting, it is going towards the teeth and this point and this point will be the point where our arrowhead will be there. Okay. Uh, so first we'll take a straight wire. So we'll take a straight wire of 0.7 mm diameter and it could be around 4 inches or 3 inches. You know, I would suggest take little bigger wire first when you're starting off because uh, it's better to have little extra then we can cut it off rather than having smaller and make it all over again. Okay, so once we have this, what we're going to do, we are going to have a rough estimate of the distance between this point and this point, the bisecting point. Okay, and this will be the size of our bridge. Okay, so when you're just beginning with the atoms, you can just mark it off so that we know where do we actually have to make the bend. We are going to make two 90 degree bends 
Okay, so hold the wire like this and then we are going to make our first 90 degree bend. Okay, so this is the 90 degree bend. Now you can see we are having a L shape here. Okay. Now we are going to make another 90 degree bend. So now we will have something like this. Okay. Now we have to give two S shaped bends on both the sides to make the arrowheads. So we will take this one and we will give a S shape bend here. Okay. We will repeat it on the other side as well. So we will have something like this. Now to give that 45 degree angulation, we will hold one of this arrowhead and we will give it a bend like this. So now you can see this. Okay, and we will repeat this step on the other side as well. So you can see we got that 45 degree bend, right? Now place it on the cast to check it, okay? So everything seems fine now. You can see we have got that 45 degree bend also and the bridge is near the middle third of the tooth, okay? And these arrowheads, they are at the proximal ends. So we can see that our arrowheads are at the area where we got our bisection point on both the sides. Now what we have to do, we have to adapt this left arms to this surface so that we can get the retentive arm. So let us do that. As you can see here, we have started adapting the retentive arm. Okay, now you can always do markings on the wire so that you know where you have to make the next bend and make sure you keep on checking while adapting so that we adapt perfectly for making the retentive tag we just make a circle or a loop and this happens when you have a very old plier <laughs> okay so we make such kind of a loop we make a loop like this and then we make another bend here here at this wire so we get a key shape okay and I'll show you by making it. So this is how the retentive tag should look like. Okay. Now we will adapt the other arm in the same way. We have adapted the occlusion surface. Now we are going to adapt it on the lingual side. But before we do that, I would suggest you to check the amount of wire we are having here. Here it seems to be little longer than what we require. So I would suggest you to cut the wire first because after you give this bend, it kind of gets difficult, at least for me, to uh, cut it again. So we'll approximately cut the wire and then we will adapt it and make the retentive tab. Here we have made a little mark on the wire so that we get an idea where we have to bend it to adapt it to the lingual side. And if you don't take care, you can hurt yourself as I've done here. Anyways, let me just wipe it off. Ouch! <laughs> okay, so we have adapted the other retentive arm also. Now we are going to make the retentive tag. And I think the wire is still a little bigger, but I think we can do with it. So here we can see that the bridge is around 45 degrees to the tooth surface and also the arrowheads lie in the interproximal area and we have adapted the retentive arms on the lingual surface and I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? 
let me know in the comment section below so i hope you found the video helpful if yes do let me know in the comment section below and make sure to smash that like button and also you can submit your pre clinical videos or clinical videos and also if you have passion of teaching like me you can submit your videos to our mail id or you can contact me on facebook if you have any queries and i'll make sure to reply so till we meet next time take care i love this but whenever i look at the camera i feel like laughing